All right, this is the solution video for the practice quiz given in class 2.1 on projectile motion. So we have a projectile launched from a cliff at the top of level, or off of a cliff, which is above level ground. The projectile is 35 meters above the base of the cliff at the start and has a velocity of 50 meters per second with an angle of 37 degrees. So I'm actually gonna do a quick sketch here. I'm gonna add a velocity vector at the beginning that says my initial velocity is 50 meters per second. This is just for my own clarification purposes, and I'm really gonna mark this angle a little bigger since my drawing is kind of small, saying it's 37 degrees above the horizontal. So there's no air resistance, um, and they give us some values for trig here. So as this is a two-dimensional problem, the first thing I'm really gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna split my initial velocity into two pieces. So I'm gonna have V naught X, which is going to be v naught times the sine, I'm sorry, times the cosine of 37 degrees, which cosine of 37 is given as 0.8, which means that v naught x for us is just going to be 50 times 0.8, which is quite easy to do, should just be 40 meters per second. v naught y, same process, we have v naught now times the sine of 37 degrees, so this is going to be 50 times given to be 0.6 for the sine of this angle. So that is simply 30 meters per second. So this is my V0Y and my V0X. A is asking for the total time from launch until the projectile hits the ground at point C. So just a reminder that time only depends, or time in the air rather, only depends on the vertical motion. So I'm actually going to start with my second kinematic equation in the y direction. So y equals y naught plus v naught y times t plus one half a y t squared. And I'm gonna simplify here where I can. So y naught is given as positive 35. Y final must then be zero. So if I'm defining my coordinate system, similar to how we did in an example in class, I'll say that my origin is over here. This is my positive x direction and up from here is my positive y direction. So zero equals 35 plus my v naught y, which I found to be 30, times t, and then I'm gonna go ahead and say that a y is equal to negative g, and I'm gonna go ahead and use negative 10, since it is given to be 10 up here. So then I have minus five t squared. So this right here gives me a quadratic equation that I can solve using calculator magic. So again, I'll remind you that if you do use your calculator to do things like this, you really should have some indicator that you are using your calculator. It is always a good idea to let the reader know what you are doing. So if I plug this into my calculator and solve this quadratic, I get two values. I get T1 is negative one and T2 is positive seven. I do not want this negative value because that occurred before this problem started. So I'm gonna use this positive value of seven seconds and that tells me that when my projectile gets to a altitude of zero, seven seconds has elapsed. So this right here is my answer. For B, I wanna calculate the horizontal distance R the projectile travels before it hits the ground. So R is just related to the X position, which I can again get from my kinematic equations. So v naught x t plus one half a x t squared. And here my x naught is zero because I'm starting at the origin for the x position that is. And my x acceleration is also zero. So my range then would just be v naught x times t or as I found above, my v naught x of 40 times t. Well, I know how long it takes to get to point C. It takes seven seconds. So my range, therefore, would just be 40 times the seven seconds, or 280 meters. Now for the fun questions. C asks us to find the speed of the projectile at points A and B. So I have VA that I'm looking for first. And I'll go ahead and look at my problem. So here is A. It seems to be at the peak of my trajectory. So knowing 
at the peak of my tra trajectory that I have completely horizontal motion at the peak, there's no y velocity, I know that VA must be equal to my x velocity, which is just a simple, sorry, 40 meters per second. There is no vertical component at the peak or at maximum height. For B, however, I have a little bit more of an interesting situation. However, the good news is, is I can rely on the symmetry of this situation in order to figure out the velocity over at B, right? If I look at this from the standpoint of symmetry, whatever I launched the projectile at, at this exact height, that happens to correspond to the same height as B, must be the same magnitude as me coming down. So the speed at B is actually going to be identical to the speed at which we launched, which is an easy 50 meters per second. And that's all there is to this quiz.